Hi, this is Soulgazer. So today I got this jersey. This is Golden State Warriors. Authentic jersey. I can't remember if this is icon or association. It's the home color. And this is the authentic one. And I had this for a very long time. This is a standard jersey that came out back in November or December. I bought this right away but I didn't do any review on it. It's been sitting in my house for a very long time. So I finally got to open this and let's look at this together. But before I do that, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support and let's look at this jersey. So like before, this is a pretty basic jersey for warriors it's very similar to what they did on for last year only the diff major difference is the patch right here as well as the font on the front and the back uh, for 2019-2020 season they did the new logo it's very similar but they just modify a little bit same thing with the font they modify the font so that's why it has a slightly different look to it but overall, it's pretty much the same thing with what they did in the past. So this is an Air Swift fabric, so it's a lot lighter compared to the Swingman jersey. And some of the constructions are different from Swingman jersey. This is about $100 more, or maybe less than that. Yeah, about $90 more. So there's a little bit more expensive fabric used on um, I think this fabric is a little bit more expensive than the dry fit fabric and it's a lot lighter but supposedly they're pretty durable on the first year there was a lot of issue with this jersey but in the recent years they haven't had any of those issues they did fit a little bit bigger compared to the regular association or icon with swingman jersey they're about two inches longer and it fits a little bit looser. So if you like the Adidas jersey, the way that it fits, a little bit more elongated jersey, or that's what it used to be at least in the past. Um, I think association icon for swimman was just too short for Nike. But if you like the traditional way, this will fit you a lot better. It's a lot longer. And it also has a cutout, which other um, swing managers he does not have so let's look at this detail so this collar is different compared to the swing manager z so this trim right here is a woven fabric there is no stretch here and instead of having one fabric doing two different colors it's actually two different colors in two different fabric so the lines are a lot more cleaner this way uh, when compared to the swingman jersey but at the same time it makes it a little bit more difficult to stitch so make sure when you're picking up make sure to pick these areas where it's evenly distanced and I think this jersey did a pretty good job they are pretty even same thing with the armhole same type of fabric This year's sleeve, there's actually double stitch, which they did not do last year. It was just a single stitch. So now this year's, because there's two stitch on it, there were actually four all together. It's a lot more flat. It lays a lot better compared to the previous model. I didn't get this at the team store, so there is no patch on this side. I'm thinking I'm getting it once it starts to go on discount. And on this side, it's a swish from Nike. And until last year, this patch was a vinyl patch. But this year, it's actually a stitch on a twill fabric. But this is a lot better. It's a lot more durable because it will not come off. So all the letterings, they are stitched on on top and bottom 
And this right here, the emblem. The blue part is fabric. A separate fabric they patch on. This yellow one, this is like a rubber fabric. So it has a little different texture to it. This one is heat adhesive. It is glued on to this base fabric. Number 30 is also stitched on to this blue fabric and not to the base fabric. If this was a custom, they probably will go through that too. So you'll see a stitch on the inner side. But because this is made in Nike, they didn't do that. They made a patch first and then patched, put this emblem on. And because this is laser cut, the quality looks pretty good on the design. And there's nothing much on the bottom. It's a pre printed jersey, but they do have a player's patch. That you don't really do anything with it. And you can see here that's length plus two. So let's look at the back now. So as usual, this front piece extends to the back and the trim gets cut off here. This line goes straight down to the side seam. So there is no trim around this area. Number championship. It's in gold. Right under that is NBA patch. This is just a, a rubber patch. It is glued on and it's not stitched on like the swish on the front. And curry. This is also st stitched on. Same twill fabric, but the number has perforation on it. There is no perforation on the name. It has a thin side panel with yellow. In the middle, there is a ribbon with white. And once you go down, there's a cutout. This is unique just to the authentic jersey. Swingman does not have any sort of cutout for their jersey hem. So overall, this fits just like the old uh, previous model. It does have a little bit better detail than the previous year, such as the swoosh and some of the other constructions, but it's not a major difference, except for the logo. But some people don't like it. And if you don't care too much for the new logo, you probably could get the old logo, one from 2018, 2019 model. You probably could get it cheaper right now compared to these guys. So I would go for those if you don't care too much about the detail of the logo and some of the top stitch details. For this year, I only have Curry. I usually get Thompson and I used to get KD too. But for this season, with all these uh, COVID and current injuries, um, I only got his jersey. I didn't get Thompson because he wasn't playing this season. So I'll definitely get more jersey next season for the Authentics. But for this year, I think this is enough. Oh, and then I'll be doing a really short video on one of the other jersey, uh, one of the other authentic jersey that I found. And that'll be coming soon, probably on one of those Sunday videos. That'll be a short, probably like three minutes or so. But I found a unique one that you can't find it anywhere else, at least I can't find it anywhere else. So I'll be doing a review for that, so please look forward to it. But 
Other than that, it's a decent pickup. I would not pay retail right now. There's so many discounts going on that you probably could get a pretty good deal if you are patient enough. Let me know how you feel about this jersey. Let me know in the comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as pressing the like button. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time.